Uh, good morning, uh, ladies. Good afternoon, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, most of us here are orthopedic surgeons, I believe, and we like new toys. I certainly like new toys. Uh, so this is the first report on a new toy. Uh, we'll see if it will uh, materialize to anything uh, significant in the future, but this is a try. Let us see. Well, the hack support frame, which Mark so beautifully described just before me, is a workhorse or the main uh, technique to correct deformities. It started about 20 years ago with a trailer frame, maybe even more than that. And uh, then it was exclusively by them. But as time passed and uh, everything changed, it become, became a common thing. There are many, maybe I can now count maybe five to six uh, different companies that are producing it. You can see the true look and the tail of it. Uh, at the moment, everything is manual. Well, it's a very nice uh, computerized frame. You go draw out the, 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 <clears throat> the plan from the computer and you give the patient, but he mo he's moving the struts with his hands. And we are we here try to uh, advance and to give us something which will be automatic, not, not driven by the patient, but driven by itself. So how did we do it? What can be the goals of uh, such an instrument? It will be an automatic system. No patient will be involved. You don't need to uh, explain to him and to put him on the plan. It will have a continuous physiological motion as opposed to four times a day that we are all doing today. We can actually do it as many times as we like. We can, uh, I will elaborate a little bit. So theoretically, it will give a better regenerate. Some people say yes, some people say no, but this is the theory. It will, of course, reduce stride change. And everybody that is doing uh, this hexapod frame, you know that it may be a hassle. We are not having uh, physician assistants and uh, sisters to assist us. We are doing it, I'm doing it myself in the clinic, it takes a lot of time. Uh, we can have a reciprocal data collection from the frame into the doctor, into the, into the doctor data collection system. Resistance, knee range of motion, I will talk to it about it later. We can have a remote surgeon control of what's happening. And we can maybe apply bone healing stimulators on the frame, like ultrasound, electrical stimulation, and so on. When this company, little company, which is a startup company, approached me, they are a startup company in the north of the country. They, they live in a startup park. That they are trying to develop things like that. You know, it's sort of was interesting for me. I collaborated with them. We started trying to advance. This is the people that were. Uh, primarily involved and still are involved with the company, uh, the management team or the developer team and so on. And then they came up with a little medical advisory board uh, that you can see these people here. Some of them were mentioned before and myself is down there. And the idea is to perform a, a automatic struts, as you can see here, that will have a motor, a motor and a gear. It will have a screw, a lead screw, and it will have a controller that will operate it in the right time, in the right place, on the right plane. So this is uh, the start. Everything was, well, we tried, we advanced slowly in my own uh, workshop at home, which is, you see part of it here, uh, where we put the things together and try and do models and things like that. Uh, well, this is where we started to advance. Next stage, we applied for an approved study at our medical, uh, great medical center, the best in Tel Aviv. It will be the Tel Aviv Medical Center. Uh, we got approval for 10 patients, and uh, we started with the first one. So this is a case report, robotic start for external fixator system. This is our candidate. It's a 14 and a half years old boy. He was limping for one year. He had pain in, in, his, in his left knee. What we can see is an adolescent gain of virus. Sorry. We need to correct 18 degrees of virus, 18 degrees of internal rotation, and to lengthening by 20 millimeters. 
We have applied a, uh, a standard uh, teleframe on the, on the leg, on the tibia. This was the initial operation. And these were changed for the automatic struts. We draw up how, it, how it's being done. We draw up the plan, the correction plan, of the, the correction plan from the, um, for the teleframe. Then you have a six numbers of the initial frame and a six numbers of the final frame. So this is what the system needs. The six numbers, the six lengths number of the, of the initial and the six lengths number of the final frame. You put it into the automatic struts um, uh, program and you can divide it as many days as you like, as many times as you like per day. It can be four times a day movement. It can be 4,000 times per day movement. This is what the program, this is what the controller can achieve. You say what you want and it's going to be done. How it works, when you upload the, pres the prescription into the uh, controller, it can be a Taylor, it can be a Trulog, it can be any other X support system. That you have a six numbers to start with and six numbers to finish. You convert it to the auto prescri pres prescription, and then you divide it into segmentation. It can be days and how many times per day. You load it into the controller. You check the safety uh, <coughs> parameters and you start moving. This is our case. I'm correcting the deformity. Here we can see how it started with the, on the left side, how it started with the cello, a standard frame. Then on the right side is the automatic frame. And this is the final radiological result with the automatic frame on. The correction is done. The virus is corrected, the internal rotation and the lengthening. This is how it looks. You can see the, the struts are having a core that is connecting them to the controller, to the uh, so-called mini computer on the top. It's still quite a bulky thing. And let's see if it works. It, you will see how it moves by itself. The struts are moving according to the plan by themselves <coughs> and, and as many times per day that you like. Number one, number two, number three, number five, and so on. So it moves by itself, okay, according to the plan. So the bone deformity was completely corrected from 18 degrees of various internal degrees of 8 degrees and 20 millimeters of lengthening. It took 21 days. We also applied the residual program of another six days on the same, same uh, uh, frame. Function was good. There was no significant pain. At the, at the moment, what the, what the system can achieve, it is, has an, a manual and automatic mode. We can actually move everything manually as it used to be in the past, but it moves automatically. At the moment, we have a medium size and a long size integrated struts. The control box, as you saw, sits on the upper ring. It has a quick release mechanism and it has a full compliance with safety standards and it works with the computer. What the system can monitor at the moment, the patient compliance, the movement in millimeters per day, it gives us the date and time of, of all events. If there are any error events, if there is overcurrent, if there is over voltage, it, can, it is a sign of um, more resistance. The force now can be used is about 55 kilograms of force of the system can deliver, and it uh, actually is enough to, to do what we want. It has now, uh, it starts as an uh, application for the FDA and the European certificate, a road to achieve a certification. It doesn't need any more human clinical trials because it's based on existing uh, mechanism and existing frames. It's only an improvement. And the roadmap to the future, which is, I think, is still ahead quite ahead of us because we are only in the primary or the, only the prototype. The controller needs to be much more compact, has to be much smaller. We have to have one size that fits all. At the moment, we still need to use extension to, to move from uh, medium to larger size and so on. We need to have it one, from 60 millimeters to 300 millimeters on one, one strut. We have the, to have the system wireless, which is also in the future. Uh, and we can, and the next stage is to have a smartphone application that will give real-time data collection, daily reports to the surgeon, 
resistance, force, knee, knee motion, everything can be measured. Temperature, humidity of the skin, everything can be measured from the frame. And these are things that we can think in the future. It is related, of course, to investments that we are trying to collect or the companies trying to collect. And this is future things. So thank you very much.